Come on, it's right here. I've got to do some crafting with you today. Um, I recently had a really big sort out in my craft room and um, I was left with, uh, I got rid of lots of papers and things that I had. So I've uh, left myself these kind of off cuts from um, 12 by 12 pads, which I'm going to maybe use some of today. And although I've been getting rid of things, um, I had an envelope sent in, in some happy mail. I had one of these envelopes given to me. Um, these brown envelopes, a little bit of uh, stamping on. I just thought it was really nice and then I just happened to see them on eBay when I was looking for something else. And uh, so I bought a packet. <laughs> um, I mean they're really inexpensive. And I didn't particularly want 50, but uh, they came in packs of 50, so I bought that. So I'm getting rid of stuff, but I'm still buying, so but you can't win them all. So I thought, well, you know, what can I do with them? Um, I need to use them for something, so I decided to make a few things with the envelopes. Well, just using them as envelopes, really, but this is a decorated one that I've done. Just with some layering, book paper, some Tim Holtz ephemera pieces there. Some words and some little um, scrappy bits layered on there. And then inside this one is a little um, tag holder that I made with some of these scraps. I did these uh, a couple of weeks ago, I think. And again, they're just layered on the front. And then I put little tuck spots in. And I already had these uh, little cards made. So I've just uh, popped them in there. So this is the type of thing I'm going to do with you today. See how much time we've got. So that's one altered envelope. This is another altered envelope. And uh, this time I've done some book pages with some napkin decoupaged on the top. Got some uh, interesting new napkins last week. And um, this is one of them. And then just a little bit of Tim Holtz um, botanical ephemera on there. And then in this one, something else I made the other week. Again, just using some scrap, um, some offcuts of scrapbook paper. And I just made a little notebook. And this was just with some other pieces of paper that I had in my kind of scrap box. Um, so it's just a piece of cardstock, a little bit of layering on the front. Just make a little notebook. And then Finally I made this one which is two of the envelopes. I've just fixed them together with some fabric. Um, decorated the front with layering, different things, paper, fabric, lace, and made that into a little notebook. Just used some tea dyed paper that I already had tea dyed. Just put that aside and made a little signal single signature notebook. And then the envelopes form a pocket in the back and the front and I've just put a piece of uh, Tim Holtz paper in there just for illustration really so there's one of them in the front and one of them pockets in the back as well so that's what I've been up to besides art journaling now and again I've been uh, trying to find some interesting things to make so that's them so I'm going to do some of the um, decorate one of the envelopes and maybe make one of the um, the tag holders with you today and then just run through how I did this which is really easy I won't go through making the whole notebook but just the putting the envelopes together so I think that's what I'll uh, start working on so here's the choice of um, scrapbook papers that I've got um, to make tag holder so I mean these you know I've cut them off and they've been folded this just is the way this just the way I've cut them off so they just happen to be in that sort of um, you know, design ready to go so I think I'll do this one as a tag holder today I'll use that piece and I'll need some of the other pieces just to make the, the tuck spots with so Maybe I'll use some of that 
spots to do um, tuck spots. So I'll select them for this and get these out of the way. Uh, and then I'm going to do what decorate one envelope, and then I'm going to put together two that forms the notebook. And I'll show you how I did that. So that's three envelopes I'll need. And then I've got my um, my little vintage box here, tin, with lots of pieces already ready to go, the images and things in there, so I can use something from that. I've got my Tim Holtz uh, big chat words there. I've got some Tim Holtz uh, an ephemera pack, a botanicals ephemera pack that I bought recently. I've got some book pages to hand. Got some bits of fabric I can use to make the put the notebook together. And then these are the napkins, but I probably won't be using them today, but I'll just show you the napkins that I got. So there was this one that I used on the on the other envelope that I showed you. And then I also got this one. I bought these really for um my art journal and pages, so I'm gonna be using these at some time in the future. Just a bit different from kind of the florals and the butterflies that you normally get in the napkins. So that's them but I won't be using them today. Um, so I've got all the bits and pieces that I might might need um, to use. And oh, I've got some um, my scrap sort of basket here with the lace and sort of bits of fabric snippets in. And then when I was sorting, I don't know that I've showed you this before in another video, but um, I made my uh, when I had a big sort out, I sort of put things into here so that they're, they're on hand so I can use them. Always bits and pieces. There's tickets, there's stamps, letters and numbers in there. So it took ages cutting all these out from some Tim Holtz paper. These are just strips. These are also from Tim Holtz papers. There's some bits of uh, Tim Holtz bits and pieces in there. Got some other bits and pieces that I've cut from other papers. I've got tickets there, um, like bus tickets and things like that. There, and these are from wallpaper. These are just all uh, squares with uh, numbers and symbols on them. So I thought if I have them there, I'm more likely to use them if they're just put in a drawer and you know with other things. And then I've still got some of my Tim Holtz. Um, um, what to call these? Oh, I can't remember. What's it called now? What are these called? Tim Holtz. Oh gosh, I can't remember what they're called. Wasn't that awful? But anyway, they're mostly the male um, characters in there at the moment. I've used all the sort of female, you know, the women and the children. I've got mostly the male left. So I've got to try and use them up. So that's just a little tray of bits and pieces there. Oh, paper dolls they're called, aren't they? Paper dolls. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, so I'll begin by decorating an envelope, I think, with you today. So just a little bit of, um, I mean, you've got your background there, it's ideal. This nice colour, vintage looking. And I'm just going to layer it up with a bit of um, bits and pieces. Let's see what I'm going to use. First of all is my little little background. Um, get rid of this white space. So I've got some free time this week. It's Wednesday today. Um, but next week I'm going to be full on with the. Uh, got two of my grandchildren coming to stay who don't live in my area and they're coming to stay for a few days and then I'm going to have my other grandchildren so I'm going to have two of my grandchildren at the beginning of the week staying and then I've got an overlap on Wednesday and I'll have four of them here um, at the same time so that should be fun so really busy week next week and then before we know it, it'll be um, I'll be back to school in a couple of, well after next week it'll be a couple of weeks and I'll be back to school so it goes over really quick. Um, 
but yeah. So I've been quite busy with sort of family stuff just recently. So I think I'm going to do something like that. And then as a focal point, I can either have one of the one of the many uh, images that I've got available here. I mean, I've got others, but I just have these on hand as a in my uh, you know cut and ready to go. I've got others elsewhere, but. Uh, Nice kind of bohemian lady there. So I think I'll have her on here. And then maybe some botanical as well. Not too much. Um, don't want anything too overpowering. So it's quite nice. Um, Flowers, maybe something like that. Just a little bit of layering. I think that's quite a nice, uh, a nice arrangement. I'm going to ink some of the edges with my. Um, I'm going to use distress oxide in a vintage photo. So I'm just going to ink these. pieces up. Let's remember where I've put them. So, I don't know what's everyone else up to at the moment, let me know. Um, you know if you're busy and I'm not sure whether um, kids in you know overseas or in school at the moment or whether on summer break but, uh, our children are on their six week break at the moment from school and as always I mean the weather hasn't been too bad this week but I think the weekend coming is we are forecast have lots of wind and rain so that's not ideal you know, for families who've got to entertain their children. And I think some of my grandkids, uh, my son and his wife, I think they're planning on going camping this weekend so <laughs> I'm sure how that will go with the weather. I think it's going to be great. So yeah, so they're all inked up so it's just a case of layering them on now. In a, in a way that I think might be nice. Um, yeah, so I think I'll use a little bit of uh, lace or something as well on here. Just a little scrappy piece, maybe. My snippet box, something like that. And I don't know very random kind of ribbon mm. something pink with the pink flowers let's just see if any of this will work I don't think I'm going to go with that, but I might put a little, um, I don't know, ticket or something on here. Yeah, I might put a ticket on, just get that inked up a bit. And I think that's enough then, don't want to, maybe we'll use some fabric and lace on the, um, the cover for the little notebook. Something like that. So now I just need to decide um, which glue to use. 
Um, I think I'll just use my uh, glue stick. So what I might do is I might glue these together and then perhaps do some stitching around and then before I glue them onto the uh, onto the actual envelope. So this will be just to kind of hold it together. For now. So I wanted that to remember how I had it now. I saw that nice handwriting to be showing. I'm going to put this down the middle ish. Yeah, something like that. Just get a bit of glue on there just to hold it down. And then pull that on. Still fit in there, and this is going to be going just popped in the back there. I think something like that. So I just put a little bit of glue on there. So what I think I might do now is I might just do some stitching around here and then come back and yeah, I might stitch around to secure all that down, just add some extra interest and then come back and put that on there. Right, so I'll just go away and uh, stitch that now. Okay, so I'm back. I've uh, stitched around this image and I've just done a little bit of zigzag stitch there just to hold things together and a little bit there not all the way round um, and I didn't notice initially but I noticed that this is a obviously a, like a cigarette advert or something because she's got a cigarette there and I don't really like that in um, any of the images that I you know things that I do so I've decided I'm just going to put a little just got some little sticky butterflies here I tried a few things and then I decided that I'm just going to put a little butterfly there just to cover that up so I'm going to do that now and I'm going to stick this down onto the envelope I'll stick, I'll stick this down first and then I'll put the uh, butterfly on Sort of, sort of central. Just glue that down. And this butterfly is sticky, but I'm going to put a bit of extra, just a little extra bit of glue on, just to. I'm going to just going to place that there, just discreetly on her shoulder. Or not. Okay, so that looks okay. So I mean, you know, it might not bother people, but um, I'm not keen on on that myself. So, so there we are. Um, that envelope is almost done. I mean, you can ink the edges if you want. You know, a little bit of um, difference in colour, but. Uh, not too much. So now that that's struck down I just want to do a little bit of stamping. I mean there is a little bit of stamping on this but I just want to do a little bit extra. So I'm just going <coughs> to, excuse me, use um, script stamp and uh, some black 
black archival ink. Just nothing much, just to Couple of bits of stamping around the sides. There we are. And that'll do. That's it. So that's the envelope complete. Now I just need to make something to go in it. So I was going to use this and just check that this will actually fit in here before I go ahead. It might just fit. does fit in there so that's fine. Fits in my envelope. Just put that to one side make sure that ink is drying off okay. So for the um, for the tag holder just simply I say this was a piece of 12 by 12 card. I've just cut the top off when I've used it for something else. And um, it's kind of the right way up. This will be my front. And again, it's just going to be a similar thing of just um, layering a bit on the front and then putting a couple of tuck spots on the inside. So, let's just cut this. I want to make a tuck spot here, so it's going to fold it because I'm not very good at cutting straight lines, just straight off. And you know, normally I cut them with my uh, rotary cutter, but I'm not going to do that because uh, it means I have to move everything to to do that. So I'm just going to fold it, and then I'm going to cut it on that line. I'm going to round the corners on this and just get my corner cutter. So I'm going to do all the corners on here. Round the corners. So I'm also going to round the corners on here to match. I'm going to ink the edge. So this is just a simple pocket um, tuck spot, nothing fancy on the inside. Just do one on the bottom and maybe a different shape at the top. So that will be the bottom pocket. Maybe we can do a little notch in that there. Just get my notch punch, notch punch. Do a notch, um, just roughly judging the, the middle. I've got a notch there now. Right, so I'm going to just put a bead of glue on the edge of this and then I can pop it on. This is fabric glue I'm using at the minute because I thought if I'm going to be gluing fabric at any point then I may as well just have the just the one glue save uh, messing around with different glues so it's just there that butterfly is quite nice there I'm just gonna ink around and on the top thing I'll just do like a little triangular um pocket tuck spot rather. Um so I'll just go just doing this by eye again, just uh, a little mark there and perhaps just Cut that at an angle. And I could just go there like that. So just again, 
ink patches. Bead of glue. So there we've got two little tuck spots to take a, a tag or something. We've got one at the bottom and we've got that one there. So that's them done. So then it's just, I mean you could leave it as is, um, depending on what you were going to use it for. But I'm just going to put a little bit of um, paper a little cluster on the on the front so we'll just make up a little cluster quickly and put it on the front of here so again I want some I think we'll have some music paper this time a little bit of music paper we'll have music paper it's already music paper so I'll be okay. Just uh, make this edge a bit rougher. I don't like square edges. I have this thing about a square edge. So it could be something like that. Maybe a little bit of fabric just to um, a bit of lace or fabric just to brighten it up a bit. Got this lace here. having a look what I've got in my little um this is just something I've obviously done previously and cut off something so um no, that'll be too bulky because it's got to go inside the um it's got to go inside that so I don't think I'll do the um fabric on here because yeah it's got to go inside the envelope so it needs to be needs to be flat so I'm just going to do that with a little a little image I think I'll just use some of my Tim Holtz uh, stuff here and some floral and maybe a butterfly because we've got that butterfly on the on the front of the uh, envelope so I'm not sure which way they just something simple. Maybe just use a little bit of book paper just there as well. something like that right so I'm just gonna ink these not sure how we're doing for time so I don't want this to be too long for you but uh, so now I'm gonna just I'm not gonna be sewing around these I'm just gonna be gluing so I'm just gonna glue them on as I go music paper
just have that there we go. Something about gin on there, so let's have a quick look what's there. What's written on the um but this is going to be covered up anyway, so don't want to offend anybody. I mean these might not be going anywhere anyway, these might be just staying in my kind of uh, box of stuff which might never be used for anything I'll just put that there and then let's put the butterfly on yeah because this is going inside the envelope I don't really want anything 3D because uh, you know, it just gets in the way get broken off or something so well, there we are simple um, tag holder with two little tuck spots inside for tags or journal cards and that when it's dry will fit nicely into that envelope so that's two things done now the final thing we're going to do with you is um, say so I made two envelopes into a little notebook and I'm not going to make the notebook I'm just going to do the um, putting this bit together bit um, so all I did was I got a bit of fabric um, I've got some kind of linen fabrics that I've had for quite a long time so I thought they'd be good just to so that just forms the basis of your um, be your cover for your little notebook um, I've got this fabric I could use on the other one I did like the back side of a fabric so it was, I didn't see the design but on this one I think I'll use the I think I'll use the floral on the right side so just get some some scissors So we just need a couple of inches really, or um, a couple of inches is what, five centimetres wide. A piece of fabric, you'd use calico or something like that. Um, and it can be the full length or just part of the length. I think on the one I did, I just did partial length. So decide which bit. Um, yeah, so I think I'll just cut that off about there. A nice bit of fraying. Just get that tidied up. I mean I want the frayed edge so. And I'm just going to fray. Fray the other side. So that'll do ideal for there. And then it's basically just a case of well I fixed it on with a bit of glue first just to get it in position. And then I um sewed it on then. So just to hold it in position I'm just gonna use a bit of um I think this glue stick will work for that because I don't want um don't really want glue showing through the fabric. Some fabrics the glue will show through, others don't, but uh, I'm not going to take that chance. So that'll be like that. And then, obviously, on the other side as well. It's pretty close together, but. Uh, A little tiny gap in the middle. So, 
you are, you've got the basis of your notebook cover there. So I'm just going to sew that on again. I'm going to go away and sew that. And I'm just going to go around to secure it in place. And then I'll come back and we'll decorate the cover. Okay, so I'm back. I've um, sewn the fabric. I've glued it on to secure it and then I've sewn it on. And it makes a perfect little uh, journal cover. And you've still got your little pockets in here for... You know, for a tag or a bookmark or something like that. And now it's just a case of decorating the front. So I'm going to do some stamping again, but I'm going to do that before I put the things on because I'm going to use fabric so I don't uh, want to get any black ink on them fabric. So just put a bit of this all over and then it should be enough. And I've sorted out a few bits of uh, lace and little bits just to go on here. So I thought I'd have some lace on there. And I've got this image, I'm sticking to the kind of um, bohemian theme today. So I've got a picture of this little, little girl. Now this is on thin paper, it's not... Um, copy of paper it's a bit thicker but it's a bit thin to be putting on top of the laces and things so I thought I'd just back it onto a little bit of card that I've got here so I'm just going to cut this to have as a little background let's get the correct scissors I'm using my fabric scissors to cut paper not good so just see what size we need it just a little bit of a surround, don't need a lot. I'm just going to cut that. Hopefully straight. And then that'll be glued onto there. glue her onto there give it a bit more substance now I could sew around that but uh, in this instance I'm not going to but that would be nice uh, sewing around I might just do some uh, like a little bit of faux stitching on that um, if it will work with this um, pen that I've got I think this might be a bit fine but I'll give it a try yeah so I'm just going to do a little bit of faux stitching on here a little dash lines with a brown pen it's a Uni pen, fine line, water and fade proof pen. So I'm just going to go all the way around. So it looks like it's been stitched. There you are. Put faux stitching on there. that will go on there I think like that and then I've got some other little bits that I want to introduce um, and then I've got this little bit it's just a little piece off something else I'm just gonna pop that there and then I'm gonna put a button on there as well, got a little vintage style button which you could glue on but in this case I'm just going to stitch that on quickly onto there and then I'm going to glue this onto I'm just stitching this little button on and it needs a couple of stitches because it's uh, only for show so 
this is just something I'd cut. I don't know whether I'd used it. I'd obviously made it up for something. It might have been a bit of a snippet roll or something. It's just a little bit of layer and it's got a little bit of... Uh, I think it's some muslin cloth on the back. and I'll just use that bit of thread actually on the back of there as well. Something like that. It's quite nice. Right, so now I need to get this get this glued on. So I'm gonna glue this down. This needs to be does dry, dry clear this glue, so it's uh, not as dramatic as it looks when you put the glue on. I say this could be stitched, you know, quite easily be a, a stitched thing. I'm not gluing right to the edges because I think when you've got fabrics and lace it's nice to have a little bit of um, a little bit of movement in them. Right, so just clear up some of that glue. And now my little girl is gonna go on here. She can go about there. Let's put some glue on the back of her. And then and then this is a a little bit of glue on there. There we go. Just want to. not even in the glue. And then I've got several layers here. I've got some like chiffon which I need to get that glued onto there really. Some fabric glue on the back. down a little bit when it uh, takes on the there's a cover this needs to this needs to dry get a nice little cover there Maybe I'll just have something in this corner. Um, maybe I'll have another. Seems to be on a bit of a, I don't know, a butterfly or some floral in that corner. I'm not sure what that is. Just maybe a little, a little bit of that, not the whole thing, because it's a bit much. Um, Oh, 
open it. Maybe not that. Um, maybe I'll put another one of my little um, butterfly stickers on. Let's see which one we've got here. Um, that one on there, I think. Oh, actually, no, I know what I was going to do. I might um, put some words on. Um, I thought, um, let's put a couple of words on this one at the front. I do like, uh, I like words. So just put some ink around that. And then maybe, yeah, we'll just have that in this corner, I think. I shall have the butterfly as well. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I'll have the butterfly there. This is going to have to be on here, otherwise it won't stick. You could stick it with glue, but uh, it's got its own stickiness on the back, so... I'll just put that on there. It's still drying. So there. I think that's probably enough for that. And then I'll just uh, some of these edges for a little bit. And then all you need to do then is you just make your little single signatures um, notebook and you just sew it through the through the fabric there in the middle so that's easy enough to do if you know how to do that if you don't I can uh, come back and show you that on another video if you want yes I think I'll just do a little kind of bit of that faux stitching again around that um, around the words there if I can, if I can fit it in. So just bear with me a minute while I just go around here as if I've sewn this on. Just give it a little finishing touch. Done. So there we are. So our envelopes altered. That one's made into a notebook cover. This one's made into just an embellished envelope. And then we've made her um, out of some scrap paper. Made a, 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 a tag holder or a card holder, and that'll just fit. I did measure, so it should just fit nicely. To that envelope and it does so maybe just a tiny bit of a tight fit right, it went in so it must come out mm. the pedals of live TV well, it's not live because I've obviously I've edited this bit out if I want, but anyway, that's what we've done. I'll get that out in a minute and I'll show a picture. So there's the two, well, three altered envelopes. And uh, an altered, I'll just have one more go. An altered, uh, oh, there we are, scrapbook paper made into, made into a tag holder. So just some little easy little projects just to use up bits and pieces there. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll see you see you soon. Might be able to get a little bit in, in between all the all the family stuff that's going on, but if not, um, I'll see you when I can. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.